Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, my friends. This is Kevin Lopez today from Personal Tutors. Bringing to you the seventh class honeycomb book from CBSE syllabus. And the poem that I'm going to explain to you is Garden Snake by Muriel L. Son. Have you ever seen a snake fighting with a mongoose? Have you ever seen a person getting bitten by a snake? Well, that shows the ferociousness and the dangerousness that the snake carries, my friend. But on the contrary, not all snakes are dangerous. So let's go ahead and read the story about a non-poisonous garden snake. It's about a point of view of a child speaking to his mother about a snake in the garden. What he says is here, I saw a snake and ran away. Some snakes are dangerous, they say. The kid here saw a snake and suddenly ran away. He actually has heard people saying that snakes are dangerous, you better run away. So that's what the kid does. Whereas his mummy says, but mother says, that kind is good and eats up insects for his food. So mummy says that this is a snake that is kind of good. He doesn't hurt anyone. He just eats insects as his food. So when he wiggles in the grass, I'll stand aside and watch him pass. Wiggles is a strange way that the snake crawls my friends that is the muscular moment that gives it a swing while walking or crawling whatever you can mention it my friends now the kid here says I'll just stand by and let him pass I won't go ahead and beat him I won't run away because that is a non poisonous snake and it's not dangerous at all because it's a simple garden snake and tell myself there's no mistake it's just a harmless garden snake and the kid would say to himself, would speak to himself that this is no harm. This is not going to harm him. This is not going to hurt him because it's a simple garden snake, my friends. This story here incites the connect between the human beings and the fauna that means the animalia, the animal kingdom that surrounds us. It tries to justify the fact of some snakes not being dangerous or poisonous whilst the notion has been in demand that snakes are dangerous. It is specifically instilled in the 7th standard syllabus for you my friends so that you can understand the meaning of non-poisonous snakes, you can understand that they commit no harm or there's nothing wrong in encountering them. Let's have a look at a few question and answers, my friends. So that will give you more explanation about this poem. Now, question number one here is pick out the line that suggests that child is afraid of snakes. Well, the first line over here, my friend, says, I saw a, a snake and I ran away. So this is the line that clearly shows the fear in the child. Which line shows a complete change of the child's attitude towards the snake? The line that shows the different attitude that the child now carries because of the intervention and instructions given by his mother are basically there's no mistake it's just a harmless garden snake. These are the last lines, my friends. And, but mother says that kind is good. What is mother referring to? Mother is referring to the snake that that kind is a good. The, these types of snakes, the garden snakes, are kind of good snakes. They don't harm any human. They don't mean any danger. They just eat insects that are available in the garden. The frogs, the caterpillars, the earthworms and various bugs. So that's what the mom refers over here. Now, 
find the word that refers to the snake's movement in the grass. As I said, the strange movement that snake usually does is wiggles. There are four pairs of rhyming words in the poem. So the four pairs are, the first one is away and say, good and food, grass and pass, and the last one is mistake and snake. So there's no mistake, it's just a simple garden snake. It's like that, the rhyming words. So it's a beautiful rhyme that has been instilled. Usually it happens in the middle school classes, that is up till the 8th standard, the rhymes are specifically made a part of the poems because we have been studying the rhymes in the primary or the junior schools of ours, my friends. So this was an explanation about beautiful poem, short and sweet, The Garden Snake, from 7th standard, Honeycomb Book. If you have certain questions, do go ahead and comment us. If you want to go ahead and see some more videos, so just follow the playlist of 7th standard under our YouTube channel, subscribe to it and get daily updates. Also, if you want to know something about personal tutors, press the button about us. We provide the data online. We also provide it in pen drives. Thanking you today. Once again, it's Kevin.